Hey everyone, welcome back to The Nerdy. On this episode... First up is The Beast from The Uncanny X-Men. Love that grayish green figure. Comes with two faces, two extra hands. The real win here are the accessories. That book and glasses, I just picture him in the 90s X-Men cartoon sitting in his jail cell for the whole first season waiting to be released. And I'm going to pose him like that in my 90s X-Men display. I really love this kind of packaging. And the back has a picture of Dark Beast and a description of him. Don Hasbro to order Beast. I also padded the purchase with Beta Ray Bill, Wolverine, and this one I'm extra excited about, Shatterstar. Man, what a cool lineup here. So, Beta Ray Bill comes with Stormbreaker, two Hulk heads. I really like the outfit he's in. It's definitely modernized, really cool cape. And then nice side art. And then uh, you have the Hulk bath and then all the figures from this wave. So I already have War Machine, Rescue, uh, Shuri. And now I got Beta Ray Bill. So almost the whole wave, but I just, I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm not, I'm not really interested in the rest of the wave, but I do want that bath. So Old Man Logan, one of my favorite comic runs in recent years. Doesn't come with anything except that snarly face and claws. Man, that looks awesome in that bomber jacket. And then, uh, oh man, look at that side art. That's beautiful. Nice photography on the back. Warlock bath and the rest of this wave. And then the last purchase, and <clears throat> the fourth part of this purchase was Shatterstar. I just think he's a really cool figure. Now, not one of my favorites, but I do enjoy some of the Mojo World storyline. But in general, I just think he looks really, really cool. He's a neat figure. Comes with two large swords. Man, just looking at him closely, I'm, I'm really impressed. I'm definitely going to be ripping him out of the box soon. Uh, some really nice box art there of Shatterstar. That's really cool. Wow. And then on the back is just toy photography and, uh, again, the Warlock Build-A-Figure. What's in the box? All right, let's see. Hey, guys, let me ask you a question. Do you ever sometimes get your figures show up in, like, an extra box like this inside of the package it was shipped in? This just makes me so happy because I have to feel like it's extra protected. Even though I bought these to open, you just still like something mint in box. So we shall reveal what's in the box. Ooh, X-Men symbol. Oh, yeah, dude. So clearly I hadn't seen this yet because it was in that cardboard box, but they look awesome. Oh, dude, I 100% I, I bought this for Magneto for my 90s X-Men display. I mean, that is absolutely why I bought this. But Scarlet Witch looks awesome. I like her way, we have her MCU figure and I like this way better than that one. And Quicksilver actually looks really, really cool. I, for And I grabbed this for $40 on Amazon, so three figures for $40. Uh, you can't, that, that's such an excellent value. So I'm, I'm extra happy with this, but man, I, I cannot wait to put Magneto in my 90s X-Men display. It's gonna look awesome. So you got side art, see, so ooh, that's wobbly. So you got side art here. Got some really, really nice side art there. And then on the back, whoa, man, what's going on with this box on the bottom? Look at that, it's wobbly. You got description on the back and then some more comic art. Finding this for $40 on Amazon, I got really lucky because uh, I've been looking at it for a while and I uh, feel like I got a steal. That ends our Marvel Legends portion. Let's get into some Black Series. So I am so happy about this Bounty Hunters 2-pack. I still have not popped it open. I am going to do an episode on it. I'm going to keep these in box uh, and hang them up in my Star Wars display in the Nerf. Thought I wanted to open them, but they're just so cool. They're just so cool in carton. I don't know, man. Uh, maybe someday I will. Side art, side art, and the back of the package explains what happened here. So Kenner produced the Forlom and Zuckus figures, and the names were originally reversed, and they didn't catch it till four years later. So they reproduced these with the wrong names on them. I love that detail. That's so cool, man. I just, you know, if you're if you're nerdy about the stuff like me, um, I, that, I just can't say how cool that is. What do you guys think? Next up is Tatooine Luke. I didn't have him, and that's insane to me. You absolutely need this Luke from A New Hope in, in the display. So it comes with his binoculars and Anakin's lightsaber. You got Luke on the bottom there, 21 Luke Skywalker, and then description and art on the back. I was thrilled to find this figure and pay less than list price for it. It's gonna look great with the rest of the collection. And while I was on Hasbro picking up young Luke, I also got Bosk, which 
yes. I've been searching for this one forever, and they had it on, and they had it on Hasbro, and I grabbed it. Man, he looks awesome. I will definitely be ripping him open, and I, I appreciate this kind of archive packaging because it doesn't make me hesitate to open it. I, these are just designed to rip open, and uh, that is exactly what's going to happen with this dude. And really makes me want to build that bounty hunter scene from Empire Strikes Back. And then I started thinking, oh, maybe I do want to open these guys because I want to build that bounty hunter scene. Life's full of tough choices. What would you guys do? Here's the back of the card. I love that it shows the uh, Blue Line 2015 packaging, has a description, some really nice art of Bosque. Luke, reach out with the Force. Force Ghost Obi-Wan. I've been debating on picking him up for a while, but he's always like around 30. I knew I needed to have him. Obi-Wan is probably my all-time favorite character from Star Wars, and I love this figure. It is so cool. You see that it's translucent, and then you got like some really cool like blue shimmer uh, to his Jedi robe here, and the face of Sir Alec Guinness looks incredible. I, I love this figure. So right now, I don't know if I'm going to open it or not. I really want to, but I love the blue packaging in the background, and I think he's going to look great. Here, I'll turn this like this. So on my desk, this is my home office, I keep uh, some of the Star I keep a good amount of uh, Star Wars in box that I don't want to open. So he might go up there for a little while, but I know I think someday I'm going to want to open him up and maybe create like a cool Dagobah scene with him, Luke, and Yoda. You got Obi-Wan Kenobi and that teal on the side. Really, really nice art of Sir Alec Guinness, the description, and then Obi-Wan on the back. Han Solo will hang as a prize on my wall. So he is definitely going in the nerdery, unboxed, and I'm hanging him on the wall like this because that's what Jabba wanted, and I'm going to honor Jabba's request. On the other hand, I kind of want to get another one because I want to open it up and do, a, and I'd like to have part of my display have him with Boba Fett like this. Um, I love, look at that. I mean, I love the scale, but look at all the detail on the side there. He looks great in carbonite, and I love that it's got the picture of him hanging on the wall. And then the back has the rest of the wave. What would you guys do with this one? Would you keep it in box like this, or would you take it out? Or would you do what I'm probably going to do is get another one so I can unbox it? All right, here's my second Luke Skywalker. I bought this one to open. I, I love how these cards look, and to me, they're, they're just as cool displaying them in box like this because it's art, and I have them framing around my display in the nerdery. But I absolutely needed one to open because I love Empire Strikes Back. It's my favorite Star Wars movie, and this Luke figure is just awesome. Just awesome. And see that thing up there? Any minute now, Amazon's gonna drop that bad boy off at my house. And how could I have a snow speeder without Luke Skywalker piloting it? And then the back of the car just shows the rest of this awesome wave. All right, and finishing up the mail call, Plo Koon and Kit Fisto. Oh, dude, I'm going to rip these open probably tomorrow. They look so cool. I've seen all the other reviews on there, and I've just been pacing all week waiting for mine to show up. Plo Koon has his blue lightsaber, real large cape. Man, that face looks incredible. 109 on the side, and then your art and Plo Koon description, and then they fit all of Plo Koon on the side of the box, man. So cool. And then you got smiling Kit Fisto with his green lightsaber. Man, look at those, like, I don't know what you call them, tendrils coming down off of him. Those look amazing. His face looks incredible, too. Wow, they did an awesome job on this. I cannot wait to rip them open. So, Kit Fisto's 112. You got your art on the back with your description. And then they fit all of Kit Fisto on the box. Here's the final recap. We got Beta Ray Bill, Wolverine, Shatterstar, Luke Skywalker, Beast, Bosk, X-Men 3-Pack with Quicksilver, Magneto, and the Scarlet Witch, Han Solo and Carbonite, Four Lom and Zuckus, Kit Fisto, Luke Skywalker, Force Ghost Obi Wan, and Plo Koon. So, out of all these, which one do you guys think is the best figure? I gotta open them to find out, but I, I'm excited for all of them. But I think I'm most excited for Plo Koon and Kit Fisto. I don't know, what do you got? Oh no, Magneto. Magneto's number one for X Men, and then Kit Fisto and Plo Koon. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Appreciate you watching and interacting. Thanks again for watching and sharing the joy that this mail haul brought. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell to join the noble quest of building this action figure collection. I'm going to be ripping open several of these figures this weekend, so expect new videos with me just geeking out. See you real soon.